Hey, what's up guys? Uh, today I actually got home early. Well, earlier than every. So she's hungry, tired, and kind of studied a little bit too much. So she, um, today we're going to do a little surprise for her and she should be home in a little bit. I'm going to make my special recipe <laughs> what I call my uh, burritos, basically chicken, cheese in a uh, burrito roll and a bunch of spices and sauces. Um, I wanted to show you guys how that's done and hopefully she'll be home in a little bit. So we're going to start this out by, of course, defrosting our chicken and then you guys will see me season the chicken, um, get everything together and prepare it. So while the chicken is defrosting, um, I realized the house kind of looks a little bit like a mess. So let's go ahead and clean it up. Well, not really a mess, but let's at least do something, right? <laughs> Okay, so the ingredients we're going to need are all pretty much right here. So you just need cheese that you like. We usually use this one. Um, tortillas or tortillas as such. We usually use the flour ones. Um, sauce that you like. In our case, we like the sesame one. And barbecue sauce also. Um, and then you can season the meat however you prefer. Um, you could do a bunch of things. Um, I'm, I'm probably going to use a little bit of cayenne pepper, um, probably some chipotle seasoning too. Um, this we'll save for the end. Uh, the curry, uh, we're definitely going to season the chicken, so we're going to put some garlic powder on it. And I'm looking for my special some of the oxtail seasoning, which is basically a salt-based seasoning, um, so your chicken wouldn't taste bland. One thing I forgot to mention that's essential to most of my dishes is garlic. I absolutely hate onions. If you guys know anything about me, I will never eat an onion. I'll never fry an onion. Like The only way I could probably have it is if you like dried it like, and then turn it into powder and then even then I could probably still taste it. I know some of these sauces have it in it and it, I can't taste it, but like actual onion cannot be in my food. So um, I use garlic and I actually really like it and everybody thinks I'm a hypocrite because she thinks it's the same thing, kinda, because they're in the same family, but I think it's a huge difference. So while the chicken is still defrosting, I'm gonna go ahead and prep some of this for later and then we'll see how it goes. Not kind of a, a lot. Um, I don't think I'm gonna use all of it. I think the chicken is ready. Um, the reason I cut up the garlic first is because I don't want to cut up the chicken on the cutting board and then have to like really clean it and then put garlic on it because the garlic is not gonna cook that long. Um, and you guys might already know raw chicken is not a good thing to mix with anything. So uh, let's go and start prepping the chicken. One thing I forgot is, of course, my apron that I got as a gift um, <laughs> from a brie. So, basically, it said, it said the Lithuanian flag on it, and she jumbled up a bunch of languages on it, and it basically said that she loves her Lithuanian man. <laughs> um, this was one of the surprise gifts I got in the past. Um, but, yeah, I'm going to make sure that, you know, I wear this proudly while I pursue cooking. Next, we're gonna cut up this chicken and season it with some of these. Um, this is sort of like 
pre-seasoning. Um, I'm gonna add a lot of stuff as I'm cooking, but for now, uh, this is what I'm gonna do before, so just so um, the seasoning soaks into the chicken. We are gonna actually preheat the oil while I cut up the chicken, so the food can go right in. So just for you guys, I'm gonna use this further burner here because there's another one right there, but you guys wouldn't be able to see anything. So um, the oil is ready, the chicken is ready. Next thing, uh, all we gotta do is cook it. Um, and of course, do everything that needs to be done to it while it's cooking. So uh, get ready. You want to make sure you flip the chicken um, to not to cook it evenly. So you guys should be able to see the color changing a little bit. Um, definitely not cooked yet, <laughs> but um, all we gotta do is let it cook get some flavor and when it reaches a certain point I'm gonna add some more things to it so we obviously want our food to have some seasoning and flavor so we're gonna add some chipotle a little bit of hot sauce So you guys are going to see that this is actually nice for the color and the flavor. But my favorite thing for the color and flavor is going to be paprika, but we're not going to add that yet. Alright guys, Avri just got inside the building. So let's see her reaction when she gets in here um hopefully she's not too frustrated or annoyed with school um sometimes it's like that sometimes it's like that for me too so i can't really blame her um so let's see how it goes you guys will see her coming in any minute now so don't worry about the chicken chicken is cooking right back there um so yeah guys um let us know what you think about the chicken so far Definitely not the end of the video yet, because you guys need, this is like half, maybe halfway, uh, to what the final product is actually going to look like. Um, here's somebody outside. So, so the door is opening. I guess you can get in. Not working. Say, say hi to our fans. Hola. Hola. I mean, what do you think about burritos? I'm happy that you're making them. All right, I'm then. Starving. All right. I didn't even then. know you were cooking. It was a surprise. Oh, well, I am shocked. <laughs> <laughs> so. I can't tell when the last time was that you actually cooked something, so. No, it's <laughs> <laughs> no, it really has been a while. Yeah, but, I need um, some water. All right.
Only a couple things left is to add its paprika and curry. Paprika for flavor and color. And curry for the same reason. So this dish is going to be a blend of a lot of different cultures. Um, Kind of like what I picked up from being out here in this country. Right, Abe? Yeah. So, <laughs> so you guys will see what the final result will be soon. Um, after this seasoning is cooked into the food, next thing to do will be to add some sauce, uh, cook it in the sauce, and then wrap it up in a burrito or tortilla. we're going to add now is barbecue sauce. I normally let it cook a bit. This way because the oil is already kind of dry, it gives you a little more flavor and some liquid to keep cooking it on. Next is pouring this in. I already poured some in. So, this is a sesame garlic sauce. What'd you say? It smells good? Alright, alright. So you guys can already kind of see it coming together. This is the idea. Only thing we need to do now is let it cook a bit, let the sauce kind of um, stiffen a little bit. And the only thing that will be after that is add the cheese. Uh, so it melts, add the garlic so it cooks a little bit. And once all that is done, we're going to go ahead and put that in an actual tortilla, wrap it up, cook it a little bit, and it'll be ready to go. The food is almost ready. Um, you guys can see the sauce is actually thickening. Some of it is still a little bit liquid, but the smell is really, really good. Um, all I gotta do is wrap it up. Put a little bit of seasoning towards the end. More herbs than seasoning. So usually I put some dill weed. And parsley because I will be adding garlic later. So parsley actually balances out for a good flavor. And it's good for you. Final, two final touches are going to be garlic and cheese. So the only thing I'm going to have to do is literally put some cheese on there, let it melt because we're about to wrap it up in a burrito because this chicken is done cooking pretty much. We gotta make sure the cheese is melted and looking like it is. I just don't wanna make I wanna make sure that um, the food doesn't burn but it doesn't look like it's close to actually happening yet. Um, and the best taste is right before it burns, so that's that's how you know it's perfectly cooked. So I'm gonna turn the fire down and pull out the burritos, put everything
So this is what happens <laughs> when I make burritos. Are you serious? I lost the spoon. Let me get some. I don't think we. this is unethical. But we don't own a restaurant, so... Alright guys, so final step is going to be to actually go ahead and fry the burritos a little bit. So I'm going to need a new spoon since I lost the old one. So the best part about this is it's actually going to taste like the sauce on the inside and the outside. Right? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I right, guess so we have a hungry student oh, here. <laughs> <laughs> so the last step is going to be for us, which I was it, to put this in a preheated toaster. You oh, really preheated it? Yes. I've never preheated it. So all we gotta do is wait a few minutes and make sure it's good to go. Actually, all you have to do is wash the dishes. I just I actually took a video of myself washing the dishes earlier. So I'm going to go ahead and wash you the dishes. You took a video of yourself watching the dishes. Yes. Why? Because... Por um, que? Por que? Um, <laughs> so the next thing is going to be for me to wash the dishes while the burritos are in the toaster. Alright, Shemesh, how many kids do you want? <laughs> oh, how many kids? Um, I don't know, like two, three, four, five. That's reasonable. How many do you want? Mm. Cheers. Oh. <laughs> Thank you for making me such a good dinner. I really appreciate it. You appreciate it? Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. I really didn't expect it though. 